Titus with Bob and the Outdoor Adventure and I thought he'd try something new. Um, it, we're going to be uh, trying to distill salt water, distill clean water out of salt water. We're going to show with a couple things that you're going to have in your kit anyway, well most likely. If you're stuck and the only available source of water is salt water, you can still do something with that. So what are you going to do? You need, you're going to need first of all some means of starting a fire. So I'm going to be using an alcohol stove, but some means of heating water. <coughs> you need a pot, um, two pots. One pot is going to be for your salt water, and the other pot is going to be to catch your distilled clean water. Um, you're going to need some aluminum foil or some way of uh, trapping the, uh, the, the steam. Um, with some pots like this one, for example, I can take off the lid and there's a hole in the top right there. So that might work, or if you uh, have to make the hole a bit bigger, you could use that if you, if you don't have any tin foil. But otherwise, bring some kind of foil with you. Most of you, anyways, are going to do that for a windscreen. And uh, we're going to show how to use that to trap the, uh, trap the steam. Um, the other thing that you're going to need is some kind of tube. So I just took this off um, one of my uh, hydration uh, um, reservoirs. So a nice tube like that, which is going to be used to, uh, um, to sorry, hydration tube that I'm going to use. And uh, some means of cooling this tube down. Now if you're in the ocean and you've got cold sand, you just cover this with wet cold sand. If not, you're going to have plenty of salt water. Use something like this. This is a, a cloth that you're going to soak in water to cool it down. And that's what I'm going to use today. So this is all the gear that you're going to need. Um, and we're going to start next by showing you how to uh, do the first step. Alright, so your first step is, is going to make this funnel, which is going to go on top of your pot. And that's going to catch all the steam. And the steam is going to go through this tube. So you take your, your tube, you take your tin foil, um, and there's different ways you can do it, but because you want to make a funnel, I'm taking it and I'm putting it right here on the end, just the end of the nozzle. And I'm going to fold this down, I'm going to twist it, and then I'm going to take this little end here, and I'm going to crimp it over. So I've just put this in, and I'm getting it as tight as I can, so that it doesn't leak the steam out. The more holes, the, the more steam escapes, the longer you have to wait, and the less water you get. So crimp this over. Make a good seal. Then, once I've got that little funnel, I'm going to put it over the top. All right. Careful not to damage the tin foil, but again, you want to make a, a seal. Yeah. Before I get it too tight, I'm going to want to put the water in. But there you go. You get the idea. You've got a little funnel on the top going to this tube, and we'll explain in a minute what this is all going to accomplish, but we're going to show you how to do it first. Alright. Alright, so let's just explain this system. I've changed it up just a little bit because it's easier to, to show this way. So what you're going to have is you're going to have your stove here, something to heat up your, your, hot, your salt water. And that's going to um, um, fill up steam in here, and the steam's going to travel along here. And if you notice, um, I've put this second pot a bit higher so it's got to go fill up into here and when it's filled up into here it, it's going to condense in this uh, bucket of water here. Now it doesn't matter if this is salt water or whatever because all it's going to happen is the steam's going to build up, it's going to condense in here and that's going to start the water to form. Now after that started to happen it's going to fill up in this tube here and as it goes up high enough um, the idea is that this is going to be um, lower than this point because otherwise it's going to fill up and go back in here. It's going to get high enough that it'll start to overflow here and it's going to come down let me show you a second through this tube and it's going to um, the, when the water builds up it's going to come down here and it's going to come into here. Now your biggest problem and why I'm not going to use a cloth right now is that the salt water, because all you're going to have is salt water to cool this clean water down, it, you don't want it to get into this tube or else you're going to have salt water in to drink out of it again. So that's why I've done it this way. It comes in here, 
comes out a bit lower than, than the, where the steam comes out. Um, and this way it keeps the salt water from getting in here. So I'm going to start this up and once uh, it starts to work I'll turn the video back on. Alright, so now it's working. It's starting to, to boil the water, again the water to boil. You can already see evaporation forming here, um, or condensation, sorry. Um, now the, the, uh, the big thing you got to be careful with is this tube is, um, is not entirely heat resistant and you got to make sure that you're not getting too much heat coming up here or else it's going to melt that tube. Now I'm not, so it's okay, but if it becomes a problem, I'm just going to put a bit more uh, aluminum foil to redirect the heat coming off the side of that thing. So right now it's okay. Um, but uh, it's starting to, uh, to evaporate and the, uh, the, the steam's coming into this pipe, so you can get a closer look, and uh, soon that should start condensing in here, in the tube inside the, the water, the cold water. All right, so it's doing pretty well. The, um, the water's boiling, it's um, evaporating, pardon me. It's coming through this tube. You can already see, if you look carefully down there, that it's already um, filled probably about 10, 15 milliliters of water in here. Not a ton, but it's starting to go. Um, as, that, uh, as time goes, that's going to get more and more, um, and that's going to eventually come out. So it's working. I can see a bit of steam coming out the side of that, um, which shows there's some leaks in there, um, which you have to tighten up and make sure you don't lose any more of that, uh, that steam. All right, so I was having a bit of a problem. Having that hose way down in there uh, kept it cooler, but once the, uh, there was a, um, a significant amount of water in there, what was happening was that uh, it was just creating too much pressure and the steam wasn't coming through anymore. So I've just made it so it could just come down continually into, this bottle, into the bottle down below, and I'll show it to you. And since then, um, we're getting a regular amount of drips coming through there. Um, <coughs> let's see. All right, so we've got that there. You can see the drips coming in there. It's not fast, but hey, it's just a survival, and this is the only way you've got of getting drinking water. And you, then you set up a fire, you get this going, and you take a break all day long. Um, yeah, so it's working. Uh, we'll keep checking up on it. Um, so, again, one more time through this process. I'll zoom us back. All right, one more time through this process. The steam comes through here. As it comes through here, it, it gets cooled down by this cloth, by the water. Um, and what that does is it causes the steam to condense into droplets. And because it's over on this side, those drops are going to come down here. And they're going to uh, make their way down the tube. And uh, as they come down the tube, I'll show you again. Um, you can see there's lots of condensation in here too. It's just going to work its way down into your um, water uh, bottle or your water container where you're catching all your water in there. So it's uh, a slow process, but it's going to give you pure water. And when I get a bit more, I'll test it and show you if uh, it worked or not, if that water is really salt free. Now, if you're wondering, um, or wondering how an, an easy way to explain this, if you want to do this as a project with kids, um, think of the uh, water cycle. Um, essentially, this is the ocean right here. We're um, just using the sun or heat to, to evaporate the water. The salt stays behind. Um, it uh, turns into clouds and then condenses with a bit of coldness in the sky. And then it, it rains, essentially, or drips down into um, your clean rivers and streams that you have um, away from the ocean. So you've got this water here, um, and hopefully uh, it should be um, clear if we've done it right. All right. As you can see, not a lot. Um, we'll give it a try. Yeah. No taste of salt whatsoever. Nothing there at all. It's warm, but um, and the well, it tastes a tiny bit like the rubber of the tube. But we've got clean water um, with a, 
um, with a, a little alcohol stove or a fire and uh, about a little less than a liter of water. Um, and the stove ran out and I'm not going to finish this. Obviously, if you're in an important um, life-saving situation, you keep going. Now, a bit of advice would be do this in cold weather. It's going to be a lot more efficient. At night time um, or early in the morning, you're going to have um, cool ambient air, which is going to make this condense faster. Uh, I was getting a lot of um, steam escaping here, so make sure you have a good seal. Use some kind of uh, something to, to get a really tight seal on here so you don't lose any of your moisture. It all goes in this tube. Don't let this get too hot uh, from the flames. From the, the steam, that's okay, but the flames can melt this. Um, but I, there you your simple system. I've used a bit of tin foil. I've used, um, in the end, just a bit of wet cloth. And I've used uh, two pots and, and, uh, and something to heat it up with. Mm -hmm.